Welcome back guys, Slayback here, and welcome to Rise of the Tomb Kings. It is finally here, I finally had a chance to sit down and play it. Officially released on Wednesday, today is Saturday. Um, so obviously there's been a few days lag in there for me when I haven't actually had a chance to sit down and play this. This is my first chance to sit down and play this. It's going to be very, very interesting. Uh, first thing I noticed is that thing there, <laughs> that's new. Total War Academy, eh? Cool. Alright, whatever. Uh, get me out of there, thanks. Nice. Alright, let's get into it. Uh, new campaign, of course. Uh, Mortal Empires that we will be playing. I fight for the greater good. Right, let's have a look at the laws. We've got Cetra, which is probably the one we're going to be playing. Grand. I'm going to just butcher that. Hero Fint, I'm going to say. Oh, I can't even pronounce his last name. Let's not even try. High Queen Kali Kalida? Kalida? Oh, God. He's pretty cool, though. Arkin the Black. Oh, nice. Right, so the Tomb Kings is going to be quite an interesting campaign. It's going to be a slow campaign because I have literally zero knowledge of Tomb Kings. So anything past like the initial trailer that we got, I haven't actually seen. So I don't know what their mechanics is. I don't know what their units are like and all that type of stuff. I have seen literally nothing. So I'm going to have to learn it all as we go, but that should be quite interesting. All right, so let's uh, go through that first, shall we? Let's chuck that out. We are going to be playing Legendary, of course. Race Attribute. Mortary Cult. Collect valuable trade goods and combine them with... Oh my god, why can't I pronounce anything? Canopic jars to craft magic items and legions of legend. Oh nice. That sounds pretty cool. So you collect stuff and then... Sounds like you'd be able to recruit like really powerful units um, if you do that. Oh that sounds cool. Dynasties. Learn from the dynasties of the past to awaken ancient tomb kings unlocking new armies and heroes to command. Nice. Well, it sounds like there's going to be lots of things we can, um, like summon or whatever, you know, into the bring them into the game. That sounds really cool. Realm of Souls. Tomb Kings use incantations in the forms of replenishment and summoning. Bring the dead back to life should enough souls of their own be lost in battle. Oh, cool. Can we click on that? What's that? Is that just going to be more detailed to what we just learned, basically? There's been a lot of, I don't know if those buttons were there. Oh, this is all about the Lord. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We'll pick that up as we go. That's fine. All right, so... I must set to right? Yeah. Oh, is that where he starts? Kim... God damn. <laughs> this whole campaign's just going to be me butchering names. Oh, my God. Um... Kimri, I'm going to say that is. I'm going to guess. Uh, initial challenge is easy. Public order plus two for all provinces. Oh, that's actually going to be really good to counteract the minus eight from legendary. That's actually really good. Uh, growth plus ten all provinces. Good again. Construction time minus one for all province. Capital settlements. Capital slash settlement buildings. So basically all buildings. Okay. Uh, Lord effects. Lord. Aura size is 100%. Oh, we have to see what the actual aura is. Casual replenishment rate 10% of Tomb Guard and Skeleton Chariot units. Interesting. Alright, we'll have a look at that other stuff. There's units and stuff once we actually get in there. Right, uh, yeah, legendary. Let's go. There should be an introduction. We'll have a look at that. Better be. Oh, this dude's cool. Big snaky dude. God, the size of those. Christ. How are you guys finding Tomb Kings? Obviously, like I said, it's been three or four days since it came out. Um, and I'm assuming most of you guys have had a chance to play it. How are you finding it so far? Like, is it is it really cool? Is it hard? Is it easy? Any bugs or anything that I need to know about? Um, probably have already recorded this campaign before this even releases, but still. Anything? Yeah. What do you guys think so far? Is it cool? I'm assuming it's cool. Just from Tomb Kings, you know, just the look of them and stuff. I really enjoy them. I'm going to really enjoy them, I should say. The Tomb Kings are like what I would think of an undead race, right? Greatest of all kings, your civilization lies in mere ruins of its former glory. Much must be done to restore greatness to your kingdom and for all to fear your wrath once more. To the north, sire, savage greenskins threaten to raid your lands. They defile your mortuary shrines. Vengeance must be taken. More greenskins and skaven dwell in the mountains to the east, sire. They pose a potential future threat, while regions further south are already occupied by the Necrark Brotherhood, sucking dry what life there still is in the desert. 
But these, great king, are but more distractions to a grander plan. The Black Pyramid stands guarded for now by a sentinel army. Control it and claim its dark secrets and with it unimaginable power. You are Setra the Imperishable, and all shall obey your rule. Introduction I was expecting. I was expecting there to be a cinematic thing, but obviously that's fine. Uh, let's read this. How to play. Scattered far and wide throughout the world, the books of Nagash, once collected, will grant you great powers. Okay, so we need to find books of Nagash. That's cool. Day of Awakening. Tomb King's faction can recruit units into their armies without the need to pay for their recruitment or upkeep. Instead, each unit has a limited initial recruitment capacity, which can be increased by construction additional abilities. Oh, that's pretty cool. Dinosaurs we already read about. Mortuary Cult I think we read about too, right? Yeah, I think we read it. that was in the initial thing. So that's those. Nice. Occupy loot or raise four different settlements. Q. Books of Nagash. We have zero at the moment, of course. Uh, first book is a plus one hero capacity, minus 50% uh, action cost, and plus 10% success chance. Nice. Oh man, that's way over there. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh no, here you can. You can just go and... Oh, I see. Oh, that's pretty cool. This is where all the books are hidden, obviously. Well, I wish there would be, like, clues to where they're hidden and stuff like that. Obviously, this is the one we're going to go for, right? Because it's, like, right there. Yeah, just down from us. Okay, cool. Right, we want to get that, obviously, by the sounds of things. Oh, why is that only a single settlement? Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, we'll, do, we'll get this province first, eh? Which is, obviously, this one. Right, let's get rid of that. That's cool. Let's have a look at him. Uh, we'll have a look at the army dudes in a minute. So let's start off with anything over this side. Nothing yet. That's all. Just his um, aura. And, oh, what was his aura, actually? Does it tell us? Uh, should be battle effects, right? Uh, weakness to fire causes fear. The bonus versus large. Becomes unstable, so that's like the um, thingies. The thingies, the vampire counts um, crumble. The curse, direct damage, causes damage to combatants. Automatic, uh, activates automatically when conditions are met, so what's the conditions? Don't know. It's an AoE, right? Disabled if... Oh, it activates if um, hit points are less than 50%. Because it's disabled if your hit points are above 50. So once you get below 50%, that thing starts activating, killing stuff around you. Oh, that's pretty cool. Ah, oh, this is what his buff thing is. Plus 5 melee defense, plus 5 melee attack to all allies within range. Effective range is 30 meters, but we've got an um, extra leadership size of... 100% so it'll take up 60 meters. That's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, this is for himself, or we can cast on ally. 20% weapon damage, 20% armor piercing damage. Nice. And explosion causes magic and fire damage. It's a large explosion. Oh, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So he's a is he, he's supposed to be a caster, right? But he's obviously got armor piercing damage and quite a bit of it too. How much of that's armor piercing? 330. That's actually a lot. With a bonus versus large. He's very slow. Melee attack's good, melee defense is good, armor's good, leadership's high. Everything's good except for really the, his speed. He's just a slow dude. That's fine. 31 walking speed's not terrible. Right. Let's have a look at our skills. Standard blue. Public order, income from raiding. Extra jars. That's obviously um, this one specific. Lightning strikes. All pretty normal down the bottom there. That's cool. Right. This is our buffing stuff, obviously. For our armies and things. Uh, extra ammo for our archers and catapults. That's pretty cool. Extra armor and melee defense for our necra. I'm going to say warriors, tomb guards, skeleton warriors, and spearmen. Decent buffs. Weapon strength for our knights and things like that. Extra damage for our archers, our cavalry archers. 
And we have a charge bonus for our chariots and all that type of good stuff. Our chariots and our large stuff, is that right? Yep. Sphinxes, yep, nice. We need a defense for our, I don't know what that is, the Shabi, the Shabi with great bows. The Shabi, a big unit too. So that's cool. Charge bonus, okay. Reanimate extra leadership. Oh, and then our, just our buffs for rank 7s and above. Okay, that's cool. Oh, and we've got a heal too. Nice. Reanimate upgrade. Beautiful. So still get the leadership, you get healing as well. Nice. Um, and this is his spells. So that's the one he's already got, right? That's that one. Yeah. Greatly punish his hit point. Oh, that's a heal. He was injured before resurrecting. Nice. Is that constant? It is constant. Oh, constant while casting. Alright, so that's the same as the undeads one. Um, Vampire Counts one. 44% physical resist. Award save that we can cast on people. That's pretty cool. 40% oh, armor piercing missile damage. Oh, nice. I think we can chuck that on someone. There's a lot of buffs there, isn't there? That's a damage spell. Oh, is that, that this one? No, no, it's called, just called The Curse. Cool. Uh, evasion. Oh, he's got some good spells, hasn't he? Uh, minus melee attack and defense. Vortex spell. Miscast. Power drain. Okay, conduit. He's got a lot of buffing spells, which is pretty cool. And then there's uh, melee stuff. All pretty generic there. And cool, satirical. Extra weapon damage. Got an extra strike and stuff. Cool. All right, this will be the cool stuff up the top here. Petra the Great Father. Can we only pick one of those? Is that what the case is here? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I can pick all of them. So it's plus eight leadership for Tomb Guard and Chariot units. Plus two Tomb Princes we can recruit faction wide. Melee defense plus eight for Tomb Guard and Chariots. Unyielding will. This is. It's a passive ability. It's constant. Oh, that's that plus five, plus five. Didn't we already have that? Oh, it's, th it's that one, but a different name. Okay. So I might be able to double it up. And then this is uh, campaign stuff, plus two public order. All that type of good stuff. More thing for our Tomb Princes and stuff. I'm guessing Tomb Princes are going to be quite important. Unit capacity for our Tomb Guards, Tomb Guards with Halbergs, uh, Skeleton Warriors, uh, Skeleton Chariots, sorry, Skeleton Archer Chariots. And the attacks, okay, it's 8% speed for our army, that's pretty cool. Plus some charge bonus, again, that's pretty cool. So this is, I don't, this is kind of a mix between um, campaign and um, battle stuff, isn't it? That's pretty cool. All right, and that's always... We're not going to look at these in any great detail because look at those ones. You actually get them. That's his weapons and stuff from, obviously, his quest. These are his mounts. You can get a um, Skeleton Steed, a War Sphinx, which is going to be cute, and ultimately you can go up to the Chariot of the Gods. Oh, I love that. Return of Madness, Ancient Tyrant, which gives us extra income, Hit Points, Fire Resist, Ceremonial Bandages. Nice. All right. <laughs> I know this might be boring for some of you guys, but obviously, like I said, this is the first time I've learned any of this stuff, so I'm just uh, slowly going through it so I can kind of pick everything up as we go through. Um, can we jump in here and have a look at the buildings? Uh, can I... Uh, that, <laughs> I can't remember which one it was. Right, so this is the Great Pyramid. I'm not going to read it all. I'm just basically... I'm going to look at them myself. I'm not going to read every single one because it's just a bit much. But that looks cool. Obviously, we probably need that here. It's obviously a unique building to this, which is cool. This is a 10 slot or so. How many extra things is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I wonder if these are unique as well. Or if these are just from there. Oh, it's quite cool how um, the, the stuff for our big dudes, which I haven't even looked at what we've got, but the, look, the stuff for our big dudes is just a one building type thing. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's actually look at our units as well, because we haven't seen those. Uh, income, gold, idols, resource, produced, five chests. Okay. So there's no, up oh, there's no upkeep on our units, right? 
That's very interesting. That's very interesting. So if we go to recruit. We can only have two of those. But we can just basically straight recruit. So you can have as many as you like of these low ones. The only thing that's stopping you is this. Like how many you can actually recruit in that region. For these ones you can get more. Um, you've got a limit, sorry, of what you can actually get. But you can increase this limit with other stuff. But none of your things cost money. So basically money's not that important. But having like extra unit capacities and stuff like that is as far as an army go. Obviously you need money to for your upkeep on buildings and stuff like that. Um, and your overall... Uh, well then no, there shouldn't be even be an upkeep on the army, right? No, there's not. It's free. So what do we use money for then? Building? Yeah, building. 2k. Yeah, okay. That's cool. Right, so Skeleton Chariot, which is... Pretty good unit by the look of it. Anti infantry 34. What's the bonus versus infantry? Extra 12. That's pretty good. It's only for speed. Not us. Then we go up to a skeleton archer chariot. Uh, 49 missile damage. I'm assuming there's only. Oh, there's nine models. That's not too bad. 140 range. Again with the anti infantry 34 as a base plus obviously 12. 22 and 24. So their melee stats are actually the same as the standard chariot, except these guys have range capabilities. Realm of Souls. Okay. Is that like a battle effect? It's got to be, right? It's to do with the amount of people who have been killed, I'd say. Screaming Scale Catapult, got arm piercing, da arm piercing magical damage, and a, a leadership debuff, that's pretty cool too, nice. Open, over here, open graves, we have skeleton archers who are just a generic crappy old archer. Oh god, Nick, Nick Hara, Nick Hara, I'm going to say, warriors, weapon strength 33, 32 attack, 30, uh, 21 defense, sorry. Nah, it's decent attack. Okay, they're classified as damage dealer. Yeah, it's a decent attack, but they're on defense is crap. It says they're anti-infantry, but there's no actual bonus versus infantry, so it's either a bug or they've left that in when they shouldn't have. Or we can't see it, one of those three things. <laughs> right, Tomb Guards with Helvis, this is our top tier infantry unit. Uh, so this is the anti-large variant, armor piercing, silver shielded, nice. Their bonus versus large is 19. Oh, 19. That's a massive bonus versus large. Sorry, just hit better the microphone. So, yeah, base of 29, then 19 extra on top of that versus large. That's pretty cool. Oh, I'm piercing. Melee defense 47. Oh, these guys are real sturdy unit, aren't they? 90 in the unit, 7,500 health, let's just say. Yeah, those, that's a real good. Oh, and this is the anti infantry version, although they, again, do not seem to have a bonus versus infantry. Okay, but their base weapon strength is 42. I wonder if that's 29 plus 19, they've just included it in there, I wonder. Shouldn't, that should be 42 plus, right? That would put them, 42 damage would put them in line with like Black Orcs and stuff like that. Pretty sure Black Orcs are 42, they might be 52. But if they had a bonus for infantry on top of that, obviously it's very, very good. Uh, anyway. Armor's okay, it's 50, it's obviously not massively army, but it's armoured, but coming off the silver shields is really good. Uh, melee attack 32, 41 melee defence is also nice, right, beautiful. Yeah, what do you got here? Skeleton horse archers. 140 with 18 damage, 140 range that is, with 18 damage, melee stats are crap, which we would expect. Skeleton horseman, okay. Charge bonus to 26, melee attack, ah, oh, just low tier freaking care, fed rubbish too, well, looks of things. We will recruit some of them at some stage, but they are rubbish. Whoa. Spec killer stalkers, <laughs> I'm going to say. So we've got armor piercing, poison, magical ranged attacks, that's pretty cool. And then we've got armor piercing, anti-large melee attacks, non-poison, ah, uh, non-magical, sorry. 78. So he's got three ammo of whatever he's got. Guessing it's like a spear or something. Doesn't say. 
But he's got three uh, ranged attacks, and then he can jump into melee. He's also a decent melee combatant, which is cool. This is our next level of Cav with anti infantry again with no actual bonus versus infantry. No. I kind of start to think this is a bug, right? This should actually be. Sh these guys should actually have their anti whatevers. That's a bit of a shame. Oh. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, uh, horseman. Standard Cav. Nothing too exciting to talk about there. Necropol Nec Necropolis? Necropolis, yeah. Necropolis Knights. These guys are actually pretty good. 55 weapon strength, armor piercing. That's really good, actually. 50 charge, 40 poison attack with, um, sorry, yeah, 40 melee attack with poison damage. That's actually really good. Uh, armored, 90. Silver, uh, bronze shielded, so not amazing, but still shielded. It's, um, it's better than nothing. Speed is 66. Pretty cool. These are our monstrous cavalry. Oh, those dudes are on snakes. Oh, I see. So basically the same, except they've got anti-large. A bonus of 28 versus large. That's massive, man. That's really massive. I'm wondering what these other ones are supposed to have then. These other ones that don't have their um, bonuses listed. Because if they're supposed to be like 19 or 20 as well, bonus versus like infantry here, they'd take up to 58 damage versus infantry, which is absolutely massive. All right, you shabby. Our big dudes. I like these guys. Anti-infantry. Only a 5 bonus versus infantry, that's pretty low, but I guess they're high damage anyway. 72 armor piercing, nice. Melee stats and stuff are really low. I think you can buff those up right through the skill trees and things. Oh, this is dude with a great bow. Oh, there's 9 of them. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it'd be the, like the skeleton dude, right? Um, I'm actually not seeing one. Skeleton giant. Not seeing it. Don't think I have it. Skeleton giant with a bow should be an option as well, which is basically obviously a giant with a bow, because <laughs> that's really cool. Right, that's obviously a unit we're missing, that's cool. Uh, missile damage 124, range 255, that's a big range, that's massive. And six, uh, and he's also very good in melee as well, there's only 9 of them, but still it's a lot of damage they can pump out. Tomb scorpion, anti-infantry, causes tear, monstrous unit, oh man I can't wait to see these guys in the battlefield. Has 10 bonus versus inventory. Yeah, that's really worthwhile, isn't it? Uh, this is our Sphinx. Oh, so cool. Very much like a um, like a mammoth type thing, right? His magic uh, has range damage, but obviously it's the main thing is going to be his anti infantry abilities. Or his, yeah, it's anti infantry abilities. Not the anti infantry bonus, but just his ability versus infantry. And this is a Necro Sphinx. Obviously a Sphinx that's come back from the dead. Whoa, look at his damage. 550 armor piercing. It's just 35 bonus versus um, large. He just doesn't have the range support of like this guy. And this is our magical monster unit. Okay. Spellcaster. Five, that's the spellcaster that does 550 uh, melee damage. Yeah, cool. <laughs> armor piercing, magical, and fire. And he actually has spells. Oh, that's really cool. Um, and a Carrion, which is just basically a, f a fast bird. 100 speed. Weapon strength of 40. That's not too bad. Actually, that's not too bad at all. Uh, melee attack's pretty low, though. Only coming at 26. Oh, nice. Okay. Alrighty. Public order. Obviously, we have to get public order because we're on bloody legendary. Alright. What else do we need to look at, fellas, before we carry on? Oh, what the crap is all this stuff? <laughs> okay. Alright, so if we get all these things, we can awaken a special variant. Oh, that's really cool. If we get these things, we can craft special weapons or armor, or we can enchant things, which is obviously a buffing thing. Get um, talismans. We can get magic items from getting all... Oh, this is so cool. This is really cool. Yeah, and those are like the specialty units. I like that. Well, this is basically Regiments of Renown. Let's just air quote Regiments of Renown, right? But I wonder if you're going to get it once. This can be crafted awakened multiple times. I wonder if like, you can only get these ones once. Or if you can just continually spending that on. I don't know. Got to get these things too, right? So we really need to find like heaps of stuff, don't we? Oh, it's so cool. Ah, uh, technologies. Right. 
Dynasties? Dynasties Technologies? Yeah, okay. So, oh man, so many. So they're all... Do I, can I get like the 6th Dynasty first? Yes, looks like you can. You can just pick whatever one you want to go down. Army capacity, uh, well they're all the same. At least for the initial. Uh, so that's campaign stuff. It's reduction in costs. That's public order plus income. That's ambush. Yeah, okay, so the things themselves are different, but... These ones here are all the same. I want to have a look at that um, public order one. Is there more public order? It's tomb scorpions, carrions. Well, the fact that I don't really know. As the tomb king. Thetrup to your faction's lord pool. Oh, nice. We're going to awaken like special lords. Oh, each one's different. Oh, man. That's so cool. Oh man, there's so much stuff in here, guys. Um, as I was just going to say, as I don't really know what I'm going to base my army around, because I have no idea what units are good and stuff like that, I kind of just want that public order. Obviously, um, being on Legendary, we have public order concerns that we need to deal with, so I think that's probably going to be a best bet, at least to start with, right? So that's that one. Ah, oh, no, it's not. It's this one. No, it's not. <laughs> it's this one over here. Alright, grab that one. <laughs> All right, cool. Um, right, now as far as buildings go, I do really want that to get rid of that public order. Growth would be all right too. So, skeletons... Are just generic. They can you can just have those anywhere. Skeleton warriors and spearmen. You just need a building. Is that what that is? Oh no, they get regiments of renown as well. Uh, on top of this other stuff. Are you kidding? Uh, That's crazy. Why are these ones green? Ah, oh, because we need to do this thing first, and then we can recruit them from over here. Ah, oh, I see. So that's the special ones from that side. And then this is just your standard regiments of now. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Man, that's so much cool stuff. Four. All right, we should have Sphinx in our army. Okay, cool. Um, let's... Let's get that public order... Public orders? Let's get the public order underway. Get that sorted. While we go over here and capture this. Alright. I know we're like half an hour in, guys. We haven't actually done anything yet. I'm sorry, but like I said, I'm, I'm completely blind playing this. So I need to learn as we're going. Um, it's going to be vampires. So actually we've got Tomb Guard for our anti-large. I'm just going to grab some of those and I'll grab another chariot because I think that's obviously the most powerful unit we can have. Um, and then I think we'll, we'll we'll get these two then I'll jump in here and get this. Once I get a strong enough army. And then we'll go for that book. This one. That's, that, that sounds like a good plan, right? Yeah, we'll do that. That's the plan. Whether it actually plays out in practice is another thing point is another question but I'm gonna chuck all these on fast now I remember the only ones we'll leave we'll leave the um allied factions as just fast not fastest cool that'll give us some idea of where our allies are going stuff like that righty let's get into some action eh I see these dudes on the battlefield awesome Yeah, like I said earlier, like when I think of an undead faction, I think more of like Tomb Kings and the Vampire Counts. Vampire Counts are just missing some of the units that I would say are like a core part of an undead army, like skeleton archers and stuff like that. That's the type of thing you'd kind of think would be in an undead army anyway. I don't know kind of why they'd left them out. Uh, do we have tunneling or anything? 
We actually do. <laughs> we actually do. What is this? Uh, okay. Is it? No, in two. No, it's not tunneling. We can. Oh, we go underground. Okay. No, camera movement's disabled. No, we don't have tunneling at all. Okay, that'd be pretty funny if we did though. Why can I not get across? I need to pause my shit, don't I? Uh, what's going to be faster? Because getting across all these um like swamplands or whatever they're called is the thing that's slowing us down. I think it doesn't matter where we go, I don't think. Is this army good enough? What is this? Toggle notifications for this current. Does that mean toggle on or toggle off? Ah, no one here. Ah, no one here. Nothing else we can do there, right? Uh, what's our... Yeah, so we're losing public order each turn. So yeah, we definitely need to get this out. This is going to help us a wee bit. Oh, man. All these green things, too. This is not... This has changed, right? Because I'm pretty sure in, the, in my Skaven campaign, Mortal Empires, this region has three settlements. I'm sure it does. Obviously, I'm going to have to go on top and check that with my other one, but I'm pretty sure that one has three. All right, now we're down to minus three or two. It's not as bad. Um, I think we need to force it. Because I don't think if we do two normals, we're actually going to be able to hit that. So I'm going to force it. As fast as we can. Oh, it's a big army too. That there looks really small. Um, we've only got nine. It's got 13 plus. It's got 18. It's got double our numbers. How good is this bloody thing? And these two. And how good is that lord? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> we run over there and just die. <laughs> oh god, it could even, could even. I'm just hoping it's mostly they've just mostly got zombies. Surely they can't have more than that. Cause that's a long ass way to go back and re-recruit. Oh man. I just recruited more as well. Oh, we're gonna have to back off. That sucks. Are we? Oh, I don't know, guys. Show me what's in the rest of the army, you bastard. I don't think those two can take... I'm going to have to back off here. Um, what if we go... That encampment thing. Can we recruit? Enable us to replenish on access to global recruiting. Yeah, okay. Back off a bit. Two turns, sorry. Um, nah, because we can get back there in that time. Alright, we're going to have to go back and get an army and then come back. Oh, we're going to slaughter it when we actually get over there, though. Oh, that sucks. I don't want to risk my army. I don't want to risk losing the first battle. We're going to have to get up to a full stack, aren't we? It's a bit annoying. Actually, we could get in there and then um, that'll stop the public order thing as well from going down. Hello, savages. Oh, do you want to fight? Shall we sneak up there and kill them? <laughs> I gotta deal with the other shit first, like I know, I know. Oh, it's just so many things to do. I love it. I love it. More things for better, boys. Uh, well, no, we're gonna go normal. I am gonna get back in here, um, but I'll go normal recruit, obviously, and then normal again to get back into there. Uh, we'll just grab some warriors. So yeah, we could have been um, recruiting this whole time. It's a shame. We yeah, asked jumping in here will fix this issue. We should put us plus three, I would think. Then come back over here and attack this. I need to get like a garrison or something up here as well, because obviously the farmies are going to be pushing from the north. Oh god, there's two savage orc armies. Whoa. I don't have lightning strikes or anything either. 
to rely on, so it's a bit of a pain. Looks like we're lucky we came back, I guess. Ah, there's a fork stack coming from there too, Jesus. Um, cool upon the tomb key, uh, tomb prince. Or a lich prince, or get gold. Necrotech. I don't know what's what. Um, but there was a lot of things to do with tomb princes, so I guess we take one of those. Or do we take a prince? Well, he's the caster anyway, but we're not gonna, really going to be using him as such, are we? I don't know what a tomb prince is. Surely that's the melee variant, that's the caster, and that's like the utility dude? Surely that's how it works. So a caster would probably be pretty good, right? Right, it's definitely a caster with, um, oh, what do you call it? What do you, I can't remember what the school of magic's called. Um, dark stuff, anyway. Vampire stuff. It's not just vampires, but yeah, I'm gonna get him in there. So, can I have a look? No, not lords, uh, heroes. Death, thank you, that's what it is. So we've got Death, Light, that one. Whoa. That'll be the one we have to get right, because that'll be the Tomb King specific one. Yeah, we're going to have to recruit one of those as we can. And that... I don't know what that's going to be. He's got to be like a utility thing, right? And this dude's got to be the... the melee guy, surely. Right. Give us one, two, three, four. That's five. Sorry, one, two, yeah, five. We've got six anti large, don't we? Make it make even numbers. Oh, but these guys are coming. That's uh, like a themed army with some big ass stuff on it, too. That's gonna suck. I don't know if we can beat that, honestly. A lot of arches. Oh, we've got some tomb guards in here. That's obviously going to be helpful. All right. We're not at war with them yet anyway, but I think we're going to be... We're going into a battle here anyway. Either the savages or these other guys, this um, themed army. One of these two is going to attack us. God. Could be the campaign, fellas. Could be. We'll see. That's basically just a stack of savages. It's 13 plus. Yeah, it's basically just a stack. I think we push out and attack that, eh? See what this other guy's going to do. No, you're running away. I like it. I like it. Piss off. <laughs> right, go on. Seven in that army and 13 in that army. We have. Two, three, we have enough. We can take both. Easy pizza! Well, maybe not easy peasy, but we can definitely take both. Um, yep. Foot, foot, foot! Let's go, boys! That's the first fight. Alright, so we have a look at my army. Hopefully, the garrison are not there with us, because I don't really want to look at all those troops as well. I'd rather just look at you know the stuff we've got, right? Yeah, I actually want to get rid of this dude now. I don't want him. I want the other dude. <laughs> I want the one, the um, Two King specific caster. That's what I want to look at. Oh, yeah, cool. So I'm not going to look at like the Tomb Guards and stuff that come with this. We'll look at those when we actually recruit them. So I'll grab two of those. Oh, we didn't get those other ones up, did we? No. Oh, it's very sandy. And our Lord and our caster. This big ass dude. Oh, so cool. Double chariots. These guys are actually fairly decent, aren't they? Although we're going to have to be careful about his cav, because cav wrecks chariots. Right, so that's those dudes. He's on that side. You're on that side. We're good here. So we'll just start deployment. What's this one? Unlocks when the realm of souls is full. Spawns a unit of Yushabi. Okay. 
So that's this. Oh yeah, okay. So like we talked about earlier. Um, battlefield thingy. So this is deaths. As you can see, 112 deaths will unlock level 1. 225 will unlock level 2. Level 3 will be tier 3. And then it obviously unlocks the Yushabi at the same time. I wonder if that's just battlefield deaths. Or if it's my deaths. I'm not sure. Surely it's just battlefield. Alright, let's have a look at these units. Okay. This is our chariot. That's pretty cute. How the hell that guy stand on me? I have no idea. His horses as well. That's pretty cool. I do love the way they do pretty much every single unit. I wonder if these are harder to... Um, animate and stuff or if ones with actually like full blood and skin and stuff are harder because this is just like a model skeleton right but is this the same skeleton they use to build off standard horses or if this is a specially designed skeleton just for these because usually it'd just be like a Y skeleton type thing they'd have in the background but I don't know pretty cool though I like it all right so these are just the skeleton warriors Cool though. I love how they're shaking. <laughs> Is it a bit cold? Is it a bit cold? I don't think it's a bit cold in the desert here, boys. That's cool. I'll make sure there's uh, the skeleton. Skeleton spearman, I should say. Would make sense that they've got a spear, right? Really cool though. Uh, is that some more spearmen? Oh, the size of this freaking thing. Spearman, spearman. That, that's the skeleton warriors. With their um, curved blades. Dude doesn't have a point on his. Actually, none of them do. They're all broken. Oh, he does. He's got one. Yeah, man, pretty cool. But this is like the stuff Tomb Kings is good for, man. Oh, what's that thing coming out of his mouth? Oh, that's so cool, though. Look at the freaking size of it. Crick off scorpion tail. Oh, the monster units are so cool. Nice. Jaguar's head with scorpion things, and I, I mean, obviously, that's his tongue. It's not actually a live one, is it? It's like a mechanical one that's been re. or that's been imbued with magic making it move. I know somebody's got the actual lore out there and they're just like, you slice Toby butchering it, but <laughs> something like that, right? Oh, that's dang cool, though. That is dang cool. Right, where's my lords and stuff? Alright, there's my lord, there's Citra. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Where's this cast about? I went right past him, there he is. <laughs> it's not that big, that's why. Uh, can I get him out of there? So I can see him a bit better. Oh, he's a bit hunched over. I wanted to work on that um, posture there, mate. But no, he's cool as well. It's like that, um, the sword's too heavy for him, right? He's a caster, but... You can't carry that, it's too heavy for him. Right, we had some tomb garden here with Halbergs as well. Somewhere. Have I gone? I've probably gone past them, right? No, no. There they are. I see them. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Why are these ones wearing masks? <laughs> Can I get it on them? There we go. I, they're just like they're embarrassed that they don't have jaws and stuff. That's probably what it is, right? They're a bit vain these ones after being reanimated. I like that um Albert though. That's cool. Yeah, cool units. Uh, we don't need to look at that chair. We've already seen we missed anything. No, we get nice. It's so cool. I really do love the look of them. I love the look of pretty much every unit in the game, but yeah, they're cool. They're cool. Right, let's get into this battle, eh? We're just going to rush him, I suppose. Man, they're so far away. Yeah, remember, we're not looking at this other stuff that's coming in. I'm just going to chuck them all in the group. Just get them to go. Uh, four. Lock it, go. Sorry. Everybody. Is that everybody? Yeah. We're gonna be slow, aren't we, to move across? 
slow moving force. I need to be careful about these frickin' um, cavalry because they're going to wreck the chariots. Let's actually bring the chariots in behind here. See if we can use this anti large to support us. So we've got Spirit Leech and a damage buff, okay. And we've got a, an explosion over there as well. Curse on that side, okay. So we can only Spirit Leech the Lord. I mean, that's all we can do, right? There's nothing else we can. Why are you guys walking? Oh, because you're all moving at the same speed as the catapult, aren't you? Maybe better. Yeah, gotta leave the chats out while we take care of this cavalry. Alright, so the chat's just gonna get wrecked. Please intercept. Nice. Oh, they're actually getting destroyed. Right, chat, go. Sphinxy, get in there. I'm going to leave this one out, give that one a bit of support. Stay away from there, chat, if we can. Oh, my two lords not fighting, please. Right, let's get that in the back. Let's just smash it in there, might as well. Oh, that's an explosion around him? That hits my own troops. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that again, Sly. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll try not to. Hurry up. Jesus. I need some support. Ah, oh, he brought his freaking cave in there. It's not exactly what we want to have happen. Nice right, buff. Chuck that on our big dude. Alright, broken that one. Nice. Oh, I can chuck this dude in too. This unit of uh, Yushabi. Oh, get away from the freaking cave. There's too many. Oh, I love it, boys. We won't look at those in any detail until we actually get them. Kill that lord. Kill the lord, the rest will bloody rout. Spirit leech him too. Losing on that side, but my other dudes are actually turning up now. Oh, look at those skulls! Oh, isn't that a thing of beauty? Oh man, flying skulls. Oh, come on, kill this bloody lord. How's he not even dead with all that spirit leeching and stuff on him? <sighs> my actual, my main army is getting freaking wrecked. There's two armies here too, so there's another lord somewhere. Ah, uh, yeah, do that, it's fine. There's only a couple of our dudes there. I think my lord just routed too, so we might actually lose this, you know. Might. Might. You're going to be defeated in a minute if you don't get the hell out of there. It's a fair route them out, please. I don't care. Yeah, it's routing, nice. Ah, uh, shoot that one, please. Come out of here and give these guys a hand. Can you get out of there, please? Because you're gonna die. If you don't. I think it's lucky we've had that big dude, eh? Oh, my lord went down. Shit. Oh, I'll get another unit of these up. That'll be really good. I'll just come in. Good, good, good. I'll get over here. These guys grouped up if we can. Oh, that's the other lord. Kill that, kill that. Come over towards the 
Good, that guy. Oh, how are you hit? Oh, I freaking care if you're kidding. I'll bring you over. That's the Lord, I think. I'll shoot those dudes there then. Yeah, that's the Lord. He should be able to kill that, right? I would think. Okay, thank you. You're not coming back. That's even better. Right, we're gonna we're gonna just do it. <laughs> very, very just do it. Right, can you come over here, help us kill this lord. Uh you guys just shoot whatever. My god, that was so close. Yeah, that first time we guys just got wrecked. Lucky we had some of these strong units to back us up. I guess we should have waited, right? Problem is our freaking lord died as well. This dude routes everybody else. Will. Smash those. Still got kills on those. They're doing well. This damn catapult. Not shit that. Come on, die already. Thank you. There we go. That's the route. Nice. Damn, that was close, boys. What kind of bloody position we're going to be in now. My other cast had died as well. Jesus. Ferric victory, alright. My god. 95 kills. Hey, it was kind of him, wasn't it? We had one remaining in my main army. My god. Damn savages. Ripped us to pieces. 46. We lost both our chariots. Probably those guys are dead. Ugh. He survived. Which is the main thing, I guess. Because it'll be a long ass time before we can recruit them again. I mean, if we lose him, that's a bit of pain in the butt, too. But that's not as bad as losing like, one of those big dudes. Again, two levels as well. Little bit icky eye jaw. He put up a good fight, man. A really good fight. We are obviously going to need to take. We can't take the punishment. There's zero. Harper Stalkins. How are you, people? Yeah, we lost our lord. Oh, man. That's, that's all we had left. Just one dude. Oh, man. Was that our lord that was wounded? Yeah. And our caster was killed. <sighs> He's going to attack again, I have a feeling. There's nothing else I can do. Not like I can recruit extra things. He's going to have another crack, isn't he? Oh, I've still got that garrison, I suppose. Alright. Let's see if he does. He might run away. We definitely have to group up. Use our catapult and our range guys. Then obviously use our big dude as, as our main damage dealer, which is fine. I think his lord was almost dead too. I don't think we actually killed them on the battlefield. They're just both really, really low. Here we go. Nice running. Okay, that's fine. Kind of fine either way, but... That's fine. Alright, we're good, boys, we're good. Let's hope that other army from the south doesn't come back. Man, it was a bit rough, wasn't it? <laughs> a bit rough of a start. God. Alright, get a freaking army up and running, please. Alright, we can afford to upgrade that. So, what can we do with the 30 thingies here then? Nothing, probably. What, we need 800? Oh, I suppose it would kind of make sense, wouldn't it? Only 200 to unlock that one. Yeah, okay. Kind of makes sense. Shouldn't be that easy to get, right? Um, I think just the spearmen are better overall. You know, you're only losing, what, two weapon strength against infantry. 
but you're gaining the extra um, you gain the extra bonus versus large, so it's an extra thirteen. Right, so compare him to him, right? So you got less melee attack, I suppose that's the thing as well. You pick up the melee defense, you know, his is 30, this dude's 22. And I say you lose a couple of um, weapon strength, but you gain the extra against large with these guys. Both got silver shielded, both charge bonuses negligible, don't even worry about it. Honestly, I think it's just better to have these. A lot sturdier. That extra damage. I don't think those are worth it. Slightly more damage, of course. But I say, it's only versus non-large stuff. So. All right. We need to obviously unlock something else to be able to recruit. But I need a full stack to take this thing over here. That's fine. Although hopefully they don't have a lot of care. That's got to be a constant issue, I, I feel, if like we're, because we're quite a chariot-based um, faction. Team think is quite chariot-based. Um, dealing with cavalry is going to be an issue. Because obviously cavalry destroys chariots. It's like the only real weakness they have. And there's some really good, um, really good cavalry factions around, so. Raid a region belonging to him. So I can just raid there. Yeah, it's cool. Food King. Oh, we could do global as well. Get us to recruit faster. Didn't think about that. Because I don't want to sit here for ages, do we? A couple of turns, I think we're good. really just puts a lot of pressure on our big sphinx, doesn't it, to do damage. A lot of pressure. Got to get back up to that, like, cast level and stuff like that as well. Just a bit of a pain in the butt. You know? You're coming back to have another go, are you, Mr. Iron Jaw? Okay. You didn't recruit much in all that time you were away. Well, the fact he's raiding us, though. Oh, the dust storm's coming in. Oh. I wonder if that affects anything or if it's just a visual. Oh, they're dead? Oh, who are these dudes? Who are those dudes? Yeah, damn, they died. Um, it's actually annoying. Oh, we've upgraded now, so we've got Ushabi, some uh, scorpions in there as well, and all Tomb Guard. Okay, so that garrison's getting pretty decent. Alright, what do we want? Um, I mean, that would obviously be good. I think we should get some of the, like these. What do you want to get skeleton warriors? Oh, we kind of want everything, don't we? So we can have, at least have a look at it. Oh, I don't have the money to get everything though. Um, it's it's going to be better. Well, this will give us cave and archers, so let's get that one. And then let's get that. Right, then at least we can now move and we can start rotating in some of those better guys, eh? We'll do that. 
Um, I think we've got to wrap up there anyway because we are um, actually almost bang on an hour. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed the first episode. It's going to be an interesting campaign, I feel. It's going to be very, very interesting. I might do hour-long episodes. Um, just because I feel like there's a lot I need to learn and stuff as we're going through them. So I don't think... Because I'll be playing it a wee bit slower, I think half an hour just won't quite be enough. I think I might stick to an hour-long episodes for this campaign. We'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. All right, guys, so hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and we will see you next time.